Hi everyone, so welcome to my charm update and I have made a lot of charms in the past two months and I'm really excited to show you guys what I've made so let's just begin. First I made this autumn leaf charm for tutorials and everything that I will mention will be linked in the description box below. And then I made this 2014 magnet, again I have posted this on tutorials. And there's Rila Kuma, Sabo Kappa, Kirila Kuma, and Kiratori. And I decided to add a black outline to make it look more polished. Next up um, are stuff that I made on my main channel. So I had a tutorial for this peacock. And I really love this peacock. I think it's so pretty and it's so adorable. And I have made this one before, and I think I like this one better. I've worn this several times because I love it so much. Then I made these um, vintage suitcases, and this was um, my recent tutorial. So I really love how these turn out. They look darker on camera, but they look um, kind of lighter. Um, in real life. So first is this blue suitcase. Next is this green suitcase. I have the brown suitcase. And lastly, which is my favorite, is this red suitcase. I really love this one. I think this one is so cute and it's very pretty. I mean, they all look the same, but I just like the color. And then I made some Doctor Who charms. So I made this David Tennant as the 10th Doctor. And I have tried to make my chibi smaller and I think I really like how this one turned out. And then I made Matt Smith as um, the 11th Doctor, and there's his famous bow tie. To go along with that, I made this um, uh, flat back TARDIS charm and I made the frame with black clay and I just dabbed on some silver paint. I also drew this with acrylic colors, acrylic, <laughs> acrylic paint. Then I made three TARDISes um, for my best friend and she also likes Doctor Who. I, I think I contributed to the fact that she started watching it. <laughs> But yeah, so I decided not to put the police box sign because I thought my handwriting would be too messy. And I just like it this way already. So it looks like that. So I hope she likes it. The next thing I made was for my sister's birthday and she also loves Doctor Who. So I made this cute little alien that she's obsessed with in one of the Doctor Who episode, and it's an adipose fat. Basically, they're people's fat, and um, there's a pill that triggers these aliens to come out at a certain time. So I made this golden pill, and this my sister's name engraved on it, and I put it on a chain and attached that to a cell phone strap. And I just borrowed it from her for the purpose of this video. <laughs> so that's what the little cute fat looks like. And then I made this nutcracker. This was supposed to be for my sweet tutorials tutorial, but I lost the footage and I don't know why because, well, because I'm clumsy, <laughs> that's why. And, um,. Um, I wanted to make a tutorial on this flat back charm for my main channel, but it was deleted along with the Nutcracker um, charm tutorial, which was pretty sad, but it is a winter scene with some trees and the moon 
and I really love this one. Next, I made a mermaid. So I think mermaid is kind of like the trend now. So I decided to make one and this is what it looks like. It's kind of a blue and purplish mermaid. And she has something on her head and I added some glitter. So overall I really like this piece. I don't know where to put her. I'll put her here. And then I made Mike Wazowski. I followed this tutorial from this amazing crafter and I'll put the username on the screen right now. And I think her technique was really smart. So with the same technique I made this baby Mike Wazowski. And he has a little pacifier and he looks so adorable. And I was like, hmm, he needs his buddy. So I made Sully as a baby as well. And um, he has a pink pacifier. And this is what it looks like. So I think both of them look adorable together as babies. And yeah. So I'm going to put them here. Um, next I made this adorable little dinosaur and this is how he looks like when he's standing and it's so cute. He has little spots and yeah, he has spots <laughs> and he has teeth and I just really love how this one turned out. Um, it could be a dragon if I added wings but I decided to keep it as a little dinosaur and I think it's so cute. Um, the next thing I made was this um, teacup and I decided to paint on the details. I realized that it looks very Christmassy and festive but I thought it was cute anyways. And then I made this little kawaii toast. Not toast, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I decided to try and practice on my kawaii face. It's getting... Okay. Um, and then I tried to practice on a cupcake. I wanted to test out the TLS technique that I found out on the internet. So I was so happy that I finally got TLS. Because in my country, I couldn't get it and it's impossible to find it here. So here's my pizza and I'm just going to put it on the sides somewhere here. I don't know if you can see that but... And then I decided to make um, two bigger pizza charms and this is what they look like. I think it looks really nice. I'm really hungry right now. <laughs> The next thing I made is this um, octopus and I was pretty bored because I actually had some leftover um, turquoise clay um, and I decided to make this octopus and it has a little bit of drizzle. Then I made this Totoro um, coin and it is a 20 pence coin. So there's Totoro and the Sus Sprites right there. The next thing I made was again inspired by Sugar Charm Shop's um, tutorial and it's this tray of burgers. So as you can see I have a Big Mac. And then I have the regular burger. And then I have nuggets and french fries to go with that. So I'm really proud of this one. Um, I couldn't make realistic stuff that much. But I finally can because of her amazing tutorials. And I don't know where to fit this. It's, it's, okay. <laughs> so I got these flat back metal charms and my mom wanted me to make something out of them. And 
She wanted me to make the famous cities and their landmarks. So I made um, Big Ben, which is in London, and there's a little London bus and the London Eye, and I have no clue what this is. <laughs> And then I made the Statue of Liberty, which is in New York, and I made the New York skyline on the sunset, and here's the Statue of Liberty. And then I made Paris, which with the Eiffel Tower and some trees. So this is what they look like, and I'm really, really happy on how they turned out. So I'm going to put it here. And lastly, I made this uh, vintage ship, and um, it's a miniature vintage ship. Um, it's supposed to look creepy and rusty and stuff. And as you can see, I made a net and an anchor, and here's just the sails. And I'm super proud of how this one turned out. So that's it. So this is everything that I have and I think it's one of my biggest charm updates yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye!